What is going on ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again and today we're going to be doing another DC video if you guys missed my other one I did on John Cryer as Lex Luthor and today we're going to be talking about um, Mia Smoke or Mia Queen, whichever one you prefer. Now it did get revealed in the last couple of episodes of Arrow that um, Oliver and Felicity have a daughter together and she did get revealed to be their child. Now. I'm going to go into my interpretation of why I think Mia Queen or Mia Smoke, whichever one you guys want to call her, which I think she is the true heir of the uh, Queen line and not William. Now, I'm going to go into a lot of different things here, kind of jump around, so just try to bear with me, guys. Now, first off, I want to say with uh, Ka Catherine McFrit, I'm, I, if I butcher the last name, I'm going to be really upset with myself. McCary, M McNary, I think that's how you pronounce it. She has done a magnificent job of portraying Mia. Um, and, I, and, I, and I like her character more than I do William. And I'm going to get into why um, with Mia, with her portraying on Shadowhunters as Clary, she's got that very cute, charismatic, next door girl type of vibe. And like, I, I'm really cute, I'm sweet, I'm a good friend, but I can also whoop your ass kind of vibe. And that's how she portrays it on Arrow as Mia. And it's really captivizing to where you like her character because n finding out that she was trained by Nisa, by, by Nisa guys, the daughter of Ra's al Ghul since she was about, I want to say five or six years old from the time of six years old to I want to say maybe about to the age she is now, I want to say maybe to like 17, 18 years old. Now, it really goes in a fact that yes, even though Oliver was trained by several different people, he was trained by Yao Fei, he was trained by his daughter, uh, uh, Yao Fei's daughter, he was trained by Slade, he was trained by uh, Talia Gul, he was trained by Ra's al Ghul, he was also trained uh, with um, the Dark Archer and Nisa at one point. He was also training with others as well. So Oliver has trained with a lot of different people. And William, unfortunately, you know, when he when they first got revealed, I liked the character William. I was like, okay, you know, Oliver has a son. Let's let's give him a shot. And as a child, it's like, okay, well it goes back and forth where he wants to be like his father, then he doesn't want to be like his father. And his grandparents takes him away because of the issues he's having with, of course, being having you know losing his actual his biological mother, um, him starting to love Felicity like an actual mother, and he actually takes after Felicity a uh, tremendous amount from smarts, and we also get to see where he finally does decide to leave to, with his grandparents, but his grandparents completely just cut him off from the world and. I'm just like, okay, you know, if I was still the son of a vigilante, a hero, I'd still want to do everything in my power to be like them or be associated to them no matter what because he has no training. He has, his character is just flawed in so many manners. It's boring. I don't care for the, for the future William at all. It's just like, I'm sitting there, I'm going, really? And with Mia, it, the reason why I like Mia more is because her her backstory her yes she was trained early as a child yes you get to figure out that she is the daughter of two characters that we've known and loved for a very long time but at the same time she's just more captivizing because when you see her fight you get to see that training you get to see her she she really takes after her father which you get to hear felicity say in the last episode she says she's so much like her father and that is true she takes after all of her and William takes after Felicity, even though that is not his biological mother. Because now, if you put the two of them together, they are a good team. You got where it was sort of like how it did start out with um, Oliver and Felicity, where Felicity was behind the scenes doing things, and then later she got trained. Now, that may be the same thing with William. While Mia still has a long way to go, yes, but she can still fight at a very magnificent age. And you have all these other characters that still can be there as support characters. Now, <clears throat> if I had my way, and I think they're going to do a uh, spin-off series of her, I wouldn't have Connor Hawk in there. I, I would not have him in there. I don't. I, William, possibly. 
Um, I would have Roy in there. I would have the Canaries in there. I would have, um, I'd like to know what happened to Oliver. I'd like to know what happened to Laurel, what happened to Thea, what happened to Diggle, what happened to his wife, what happened to all the other heroes that's within the DC world. What What's happened to them? Why is the world like this? Why did they not come help? Where is the Flash team? Where is the Legends? Where is Supergirl? And, you know, they could have gotten so many different people to help with this disaster. And, it's just like, oh, well, you know, the Glades are better now than Star City, and it's just really going, really. So, I'm really hoping that they do a spinoff of her character now. Um, from what I read in the comments, from what I understand in the comments, yes, she goes by Speedy later on, um, taking after her aunt, which uh, Thea was called Speedy, and I guess she may do that in honor of her aunt if she does want, if they do put that in there at some point. But, obviously, I, I've been sitting here and I'm stating that I'm not trying to bash any of the characters. I'm just stating how I personally feel about it because I think that Mia Smoke is a better character than William. And because the reason why I say that is because of just how the actors are going about it and as well as the just the acting performance and the character. And I, I, I don't try to bash anyone for their acting or their portrayal of the character because sometimes you get an actor and it just doesn't fit with the character or, or sometimes the character doesn't fit that actor or they just go about it the wrong way of what you would think now i don't know if it's the actor or the character of william i don't like it, it could be both or it could be just the character i don't know but I, I just prefer mia overall and i think she is the true heir of the queen line because she will have more experience more than likely with everyone because obviously she's gonna train with Roy at some point she's gonna train with um, the canaries she's gonna more than likely have her mother teach her other kinds of intelligence at some point as well because that's what happened with Oliver so if they're gonna do this and that's more than likely what will happen but they just need to write correctly because when Arrow started out, it was rough, but it was great. Yes, they had a few bumpy roads, but I do feel like that um, Black Star, aka okay, Mia Smoke, has a bright future within the DC franchise. So that's just my interpretation, guys. I could be right, I could be wrong. I just wanted to give you guys my interpretation of so far of the character when I think about why I like the character better than William and also why I think that she deserves a chance in her own spinoff show. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? What is your thoughts about it? I would like to know if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as always. Also links down in the description below if you guys want to give me a follow on my social media links. And I'll see you guys on the very next video. See you later.